A big breakthrough in the race for coronavirus vaccine. Lancet Medical Journal revealed that Oxford COVID-19 vaccine AZD-1222 triggers strong immune response against the deadly coronavirus in early testing phases. The results showed the vaccine induced strong antibody and T-cell immune responses for up to 56 days after they were given and the strongest response came after a second booster dose. The trials were conducted on 1,077 healthy adults aged between 18 and 55 in five UK hospitals in April and May, and no early safety concerns were reported. The ASD 1222 is already undergoing a combined phase two and three trials in UK, Brazil, and South Africa. Oxford University, who is working with the UK based global biopharmaceutical company AstraZeneca, has now already signed deals to mass market the vaccine if uh, it passes in human trials. Oxford scientists are also looking for starting clinical trials in India. Remember, if AZD-1222 gets requisite clearances, Serum Institute of India will manufacture this vaccine. So we've now seen exactly the sort of immune responses that we hoped to see, but we now need to do the rigorous studies to show that the vaccine is protective against the virus in humans. So it's now realistic, and AstraZeneca have announced this, that as many as two billion doses of vaccine might be produced. This is a really important milestone to put into the public domain, our findings on the safety and immune responses to this vaccine in the first group of people that we vaccinated. We know there's an immune response to the vaccine and it's the kind of immune response we're looking for. We don't know how big that immune response needs to be. People will be familiar with the idea that when you have a vaccine, you can expect to feel maybe some soreness in the arm um, where the vaccine's been given for a day or two afterwards and you may experience some flu-like symptoms. It's both exhausting and ex exhilarating. Um, we, we, we have a lot to do. There are constantly issues that we're facing and solving and we're able to solve them because we have such a big and such a talented team working on this. So we're hoping to be able to answer whether you need two shots of a vaccine what dose you need in those two shots and whether you need a higher amount or number of vaccine doses in older adults. And we're very grateful to the vaccinees and the volunteers and the teams both in the clinic and the lab that have worked together to deliver these results.